In this video, I'll teach you a really nice utility move known as the KM move. And uh, it has a, a number of different applications. Uh, I like to think of it as a band-aid move that can help you uh, recover from certain uh, situations. So let me just give you an example. One of the questions that I get uh, from time to time is, when doing a double lift, what do you do if somebody calls you out and notices that you're holding two cards instead of one? Okay, so the KM move can be used to uh, recover from that situation. Let me uh, give you an example of, of what that would look like. So we have the four of diamonds here. This is a double, this is a double lift. Um, but let's say uh, someone called me out here and said, oh, you're just holding two cards. At this point, I could do the KM move to, uh, to show that no, I'm actually just holding one card. Okay, so it's, uh, it's used as a, as a cleanup in that case. So, uh, you know, I'll go over uh, some other applications for this in future videos, but for now, let me teach you the technique and uh, break it down. The KM move is normally done from a position where you have a face-up double on top of the deck. So this is two cards right here. I'm assuming that you are very familiar with a double lift. If you're not, I'll link you to a uh, tutorial where you can learn more about that on the screen here and in the description box down below. Uh, but moving forward, I'm, I'm gonna assume that you have a solid understanding of the double lift. So you have those two face-up cards on top of the deck and you have a pinky break beneath them. Now, the goal of the KM move is to secretly deposit the bottom of these two cards, the three of hearts in this case, to secretly deposit that face down on top of the deck so that you're left with a single face-up card in your hand. Now, the covering motion that you're gonna use to do this is you're going to take the card, or the cards in this case, and you're going to kind of just snap it. It's almost as if you're kind of just toying with the card. You're just, you're just snapping it to demonstrate singularity, and in that motion, the, the move is done. So let me break down the technique now. So you have the face-up double on top of the deck. You have a pinky break beneath those two cards, and here's what you're going to do. So you're going to grab the double from the right edge of the cards with your right hand fingers, and you're gonna slide it to the right, almost as if you were about to just turn that double back face down. Okay, so it's, it starts off very similar to just turning the double back over. Once you're right about here, what you're going to do is, instead of you know continuing your right hand motion of turning the card over, instead, you're going to actually be taking your left wrist and turning it inwards. So you're doing kind of a wrist kill. All right, so you're closing the gap in between the double and the card, or in the deck, excuse me. Okay, so here's here's what's happening. Let me give you an exposed view of what happens in this move. Basically, your left hand fingers are going to contact the back or the bottom of these two cards, the eight of diamonds in this case. At the same time, I'm gonna slide the three of hearts out. And so that bottom card is being slid on top of the deck while the three of hearts in this case is being removed from the deck or separated away from the deck. And then at this point, I would turn my hand palm up and give it a snap. That's the KM move. But let me uh, break that down in a bit more detail and show you, you know, more specifically the finger positions that you're gonna use and everything. So you're in this position, you're, you've slid that card to the right, you start to close the gap in between the, the double and the deck and uh, your pinky, ring, and middle finger contact the back of these two cards. And when you're right about here, this is where I start to slide the eight of diamonds out, okay? So I start to slide it out, but nothing can be seen. Okay, this is actually uh, very close to an angle proof move if, if you do it properly with the right timing and everything. So I slide that card out. Sometimes I'll even out jog it a little bit. Uh, my first finger stays curled around the front edge of the deck. That helps a lot. But once I slide the card out a bit, I can start to out jog that card a bit. And I'm gonna continue to slide that card to the right. And I kind of notice how I graze my left thumb across the face of that card. Once that card clears, right now it's trapped. It's kind of sandwiched in between the card beneath it and the deck. Once that card clears, that's when I start to turn my left hand back palm up. And that's when I snap the card, doing the covering motion. And that's it, uh, you secretly deposited that card which is now face down on top of the deck. So let me do that at real speed and show you what that would look like. So we have the two of diamonds here, this is a double. There's the queen of spades beneath it, but if I wanna ditch that queen of spades, I do the KM move 
and it looks something like that. Let me do that in slow motion now so you can get an even better idea. So I have the two of diamonds here with the queen of spades behind it, and here we go. Okay, so I hope that explanation was helpful and that you get some good use out of that move. If you want to learn more sleight of hand technique and card magic in general, uh, you can check out the tutorial library. I put together a collection of uh, hundreds of video tutorials that are really easy to navigate and uh, you can access it for free. So I'll put a link on the screen here for that and in the description box down below. So that's all for now. Hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video.